I mean, I am listening. This packaging is gorgeous. I gotta tell you guys, compared to last year's advent, this is a huge difference and a step up. Hey beautifuls, welcome back to my channel where we do lots of unboxings over here. Right now we are specifically focusing on advent calendars. So if you have not found an advent calendar yet for yourself this year, keep on watching. We are doing so many different unboxings over here. I have a full playlist as well so you can always check them out down below where we are ranking these from best to worst as well. <laughs> is called the 25 days of glam it is presented by ipsy this is going to have 25 days of beauty products inside of it now i just have to tell you i reviewed last year's advent actually i think i did the last two years of advents you guys i think i've had this calendar for three years running now and it is definitely improved. And I know a lot of times it's easy to dog on Ipsy, but believe me, I've shared my fair experiences. They've not always been great. But just in terms of presentation alone, this is a huge step up from what I've seen the last couple of years. So for starters, this calendar is gift worthy. It's a beautiful presentation. I love the solid box that we are seeing here. Last year, it was just a cardboard box and it just had a cardboard sleeve. It was a lot cheaper. This is really solid, it's sturdy. Even when I open up these doors, it feels a lot more luxurious than what I've seen with their previous advents. Now, I am a little concerned because there are a lot of skinny doors up here, so that makes me a little nervous, but look at how big day 25 is. So I personally like when an advent calendar builds up to the most exciting day. Last year, they ended with a sponge, and I was not happy with that, so I'm hoping because this is so large, we don't have a sponge in here. If you are interested in purchasing this calendar, I will be posting a link down below for you guys as well. This calendar currently retails for $199. They are estimating the total value to be $700. Now, before we get too carried away, I don't think we're gonna hit $700 today, but I do think this calendar will most likely be worth that $200 price point. And there's one saving product as to why I think we will have our $200 value today. So they are advertising and even in the little booklet that they sent over, there is supposed to be a full size Ella Miz product inside of this calendar. This full size product retails for $179. So if you were gonna go online and purchase it, it would be $179. It's supposed to be in this $200 calendar. So based off of that alone, I feel like this calendar will be worth the $200 that we're gonna see today. But again, I'm not quite sure if we're gonna actually hit 700. So per usual, we will be starting with door number one on this calendar. And inside that door, we have a full size product. So great way to start the calendar off. So this is from Laura Mercier. It is the Translucent Pure Setting Spray. It is a 16 hour hold time and it is a full size product at 100 ml or 3.4 ounces. This will help to lock in your makeup or keep oils at bay and it's gonna really help to set everything in place. And then like I said, it's supposed to last up to 16 hours. Now this one says that it is a clean beauty product because it does have 12 clean ingredients inside of it. It is going to be weightless, gentle, and comfortable on your skin, but it's also not going to be tight or sticky. There's no alcohol in this or silicone, anything like that. This product alone does retail for $40 online right now. So I love that in the very first door, we're already seeing a banger of a product. Next up in day number two, we have a full size product from Wonder Beauty. This is the Lip Retreat Oil. So this, I believe this is full size. It's 10 mil. I think this is still full size. Sometimes I get confused with the amount of beauty products that we go through, you guys. But this one appears to be. The shade is Oasis Glow, which is just a clear lip gloss. So this will give you a little bit of shine, but it is also going to give you hydration back to your lips. So it's not supposed to dry out your lips with their formula. Now Wonder Beauty is all cruelty free, so I love that. I'll do a quick swatch here for you. This one to me is a thicker lip gloss, but you do get amazing shine. I mean, honestly, your lips are gonna look wet with this, you guys, look at that. In day three, we have some scrunchies in here. 
It's not my favorite item to receive in this calendar, but I don't think it's terrible. So this is from Kitsch and they are a set of six satin scrunchies. I'm trying to say that really slowly because I was like, six satin scrunchies. Like I don't want to get tongue tied. But this will be in the set called Eucalyptus. They are made with satin and then these will also be designed to cut down on frizz because of that material. But they also will help to reduce breakage with your hair as well. So I've used this brand, they're really good. I don't have this set, but I do feel like they're strong and long lasting. So I feel like they'll last a really long time. They don't break easily when pulling my hair up. So in day number four, we have a travel sized product here. This is from Byro and it is called Tea Time. It is their facial cleanser. Now this is vegan and cruelty free. Great brand. I have no problem with the brand. I do think a cleanser is always nice. I mean, you always have to wash your face, right? So I think it's good, but it's 20 mil. It is a travel sized product. So this is something that typically you're gonna see in the Ipsy Glam Bag or in their shop for $3.50. So it's not, it's not very exciting. I'm just hoping, I really hope we don't end up with like one amazing product with the LMS and then the rest of these be the really small travel sized items. I'm not gonna lie you guys, I do have a little bit of anxiety with this calendar. I can you believe I'm saying that about an advent calendar? It's one of my favorite things ever. But Ipsy always makes me nervous because they'll advertise something that's really great. And like I said, I knew when I saw that product, it's a good thing. But it's also, sometimes Ipsy will flip on me and they'll send a lot of small products. So I'm very nervous with this one. Okay, moving on to day five, we have in here from Rodile. This is the glass highlighter. It is champagne glow. Two grams is what we have here. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is not helping me at all. I'm gonna have to start doing like breathing techniques over here. We're only on day, what, what am I at, five? I've only opened up five doors. I'm already nervous, you guys. Ah! So this is a great brand. I actually love this highlighter. I've used it before. So it's a beautiful shine and it's the champagne color. So I feel like it's perfect for year round. You can do it in winter, you can do it in summer. Typically I like to change my colors out depending on if it's a warm or cool tone, but this one I think works for everybody. So it's just gorgeous. I'll do a quick swatch here. That way you guys can see what it looks like but I love this product. So creamy, it goes down really well, and then it just catches the light beautifully. But I do feel like this works with everyone's skin tone, so I love the product, but it is small, you guys. Okay, day number six is actually a very large drawer. So inside of this one, we have a brush. Oh, come on, Ipsy, you're gonna kill me today. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, Ipsy, like my worst fears are coming true right now. This is our sixth item. It is from Spectrum and it is a mini powder brush. It is cruelty-free vegan, so it's all synthetic fibers. Well, this is why I buy it so you guys don't have to. I mean, truthfully, this is why I buy these Advents, you guys. So on day number six, this is the brush that we have here. You know, it's not a bad brush, but it doesn't feel spectacular. I mean, again, I feel like this is something they'd have in the shop for $3.50. Like, this is not anything that I would be excited over to make me want to buy this Advent. In day number seven, we have a full-size mascara from Give Them Lala. This is the Black Mascara. This was in the Ipsy Glam Bag, you guys, not too long ago. Like a few months ago, I had it in my personal subscription. So again, this was selling in the shop for $3.50. And I know this mascara works. I've used it and I do think it's an average mascara. I think it's, you know what I mean? Like it's not the best. I don't rebuy it, but I do use it when I get it in a box. So I think it's okay. Now in day number eight, this is one of the products that they were advertising as a spoiler for this advent calendar. So this is from Tula Skincare. It is their Gold Glow Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. Now this product, I love a lot, you guys. Like this cooling eye balm is one of my favorite products that I use for skincare. However, the one that I use is their original formula where it goes down clear, it's translucent. This one is gold. It has a gold shimmer to it. So it's beautiful. 
And I do think it looks nice on, but I don't always want a gold shimmer underneath my eyes. I typically want to just take down puffiness. I want to brighten that area up in there, but I don't necessarily need a bronzing glowing effect. So it's more of a champagne color, but you can tell there is a little bit of shimmer in it. And it does work at taking down puffiness, but when I've tried this product before, it just gives me too much of a golden eye look. And I wish they would have sent us just the clear translucent balm. But if you were going to buy this, it does retail for $38. So I can't discount Ipsy for that. It is an expensive product. I do like that it's in the advent. Next up in day number nine, we have a very small perfume in here. So this is number 13 from Mason. And this scent, actually it doesn't say, it just says it's a perfume oil. We have three mil. I think this was also one of the spoilers they showed originally, which great fragrance brand. I think you can buy this at Sephora if you wanted to as well. They mention that it retails for $16 for this exact size, and it's supposed to be a show-stopping scent. Oh, it smells good. Actually, I really like this. Now it is a roller ball, so I like that because you can just put a little bit on your wrist. It's sweet and it's feminine, but I also feel like there's sugar in there as well. Like it's a sweet, warm, floral note. I think this one smells really good. I will definitely use this. In door number 10, we have a product from Silky. This is the Hair Detangler Spray. So it is one ounce or 30 mil. <laughs> You guys, I've had this product before. So this was in my Ipsy Glam Bag earlier this year. I mean, way early, like February or March. Somewhere in there, I had this in my bag. And those products always retail for $3.50 in their shop. So this is a detangling hair spray. You can put it in when your hair is wet and it will help to take out tangles before brushing it. It's a decent enough product. But again, you're spending $200 on an advent calendar when I can go to their shop and buy this for $3.50. Door number 11 has a stick from Bobbi Brown in here. This is the dual ended long wear cream shadow stick. So we have the pink mercury shimmer and nude beach, which is a matte shade. So it's going to be a double ended cream stick. Now this can be purchased at Sephora for $42 if you wanted to purchase it. This is what it will look like here. So I do think it's a great brand. Really excited about this. I actually looked at the Bobbi Brown advent calendar, you guys, and I was like, it doesn't look worth it to me, so I don't think I'm gonna get it. But I do like her products. I think they're very pretty. These cream shadow sticks are so easy to apply, especially when you're in a hurry. You can just put this on. I would do this darker shade kind of on the outer edge and then go back over with the shimmer on the eyelid. You can blend it out. Because it's a cream product, they blend so easily and they just kind of melt into your skin a bit. Day 12 has a product from Grown Alchemist in it. This is the Polishing Facial Exfoliant, which I want to say... Did I try this out already? I think I did. This looks very familiar to me. I think I tried this from like an icon box maybe, somewhere around in there. I'm surprised at how many of these products I've just had like recently that I'm remembering. But this is a full size product. And again, I think this was in the store, you guys, for not very much money. Like I think it was very affordable. Grown Alchemist is a great brand. This one will help to break down texture. It's an exfoliant, so it'll get rid of dry skin, any bumps, things like that. It is all natural and cruelty free. It's vegan, there's no toxins in here. So it is a great clean skincare company. But I feel like this was in the store for like 10 bucks, you guys. It wasn't a lot. And I mean, that's, that's the hard part is if Ipsy has amazing deals on their store items, no one really wants to buy an advent calendar for $200 if you know you can buy them cheaper individually. Day number 13 has the Half Caked Double Dipper Palette. This is called the Miami Beach Set. So I'll go ahead and open this, but again, this was in my Ipsy Glam bag, you guys. So this is what it will look like here, because I remembered thinking, I love the little packaging, it's kind of cute. It's a little adorable. And then inside, you've got your bronzer and highlighter duo. 
and there is a mirror attached to this but again it was three dollars and fifty cents you guys like oh my gosh i just had such a bad feeling about this i knew they were gonna bank off of that elemis product and yes that is an expensive product that's worth it but I just had a bad feeling they were gonna unload all of these small cheap items. So the next item that we have in here today is from Half Caked again. This is called The Script and it is a primer and lip liner duo. Now this is a product I don't know actually. So I've not tried this one. We have the shade Half Life and it is going to be a stick product like this. So on one end, we're going to have the primer here that you'll just put down over your lips first. And then you're going to have your cream lip product on the other end. I do think it's a really pretty color. I do like that one. Day number 15 has a product from Hey Honey. This is the Love Your Body Body Lotion. So it is a travel size that we have here and it is a whipped body butter cream. So it will soften and hydrate your skin. We also have from Benefit, one of their moisturizing matte lip tints. This is two mil of product. I'm not gonna say anything negative, you guys. This is in the shade number two, which is Cream Puff. I may not say it, but I am thinking it. <laughs> You're thinking it too, right? So this is what it will look like here. This is actually in the Benefit Advent Calendar, you guys. So if you didn't see that unboxing, I did open up the Benefit Cosmetics Advent and they sent tons of these little lip products. And I do think they're a great formula. They're very cute. I like the colors. Even this shade is gorgeous, but they're so tiny. You're not going to get a lot of use out of these. Day 18 has a full-size product in it, which is awesome. This one is coming from First Aid Beauty, and it's their facial moisturizer. So it's hydrating, but it also has sunscreen built into it as well. So this one is SPF 30. The expiration date is February of 2026. So that's good, at least. At least they're not unloading, like, stock that's expiring in the next two months or something. So I do appreciate that, but it is a full-size product that we have here. Up to day 19 now, and in this box, we do have a full-size product here. This is from GXVE. This is the Gwen Stefani Beauty line. This is the lightweight longwear matte liquid lipstick is what we have here today. The shade that we have here today is called Original Recipe. So it's a gorgeous red color. And if you don't like the liquid lipstick form, I know she makes these in the bullet lipsticks as well, even the same shade. So this one will be a matte liquid lip is what we have here, but gorgeous red. It's super bright. I do feel like it gives you great coverage as well. So it's a really nice coat. There's a little bit of shine in there too. And it's not supposed to dry out your lips either. So I do think this is an exciting product. This is what I would want to see in the Ipsy Advent are things that are full size like this, things that we want to purchase. This is not going for $3.50 on the Ipsy website either. So this is more what we want to see. Day 20. I didn't honestly think this would be till day 25, you guys, but this is the product that I've been talking about since the very beginning of this video. So this is from Elemis. It's the Dynamic Resurfacing Night Cream, and it is a full-size product. So this product is 50 mil or 1.6 ounces. This is the one that if you want to purchase it online, it's $179 for it. So it's amazing that it's in this advent and this is truthfully even when i looked at the advent i was like well dang if ipsy has this in there what's the rest of the calendar going to be like so i kind of feel i don't know about you guys this is just my own personal thoughts i feel like ipsy did a bait and switch tactic here that it was yeah look at we're including this in the advent calendar it's worth 179 and the whole calendar is worth 200 so you're getting a steal here and i completely fell for it because you're right the numbers don't lie that's what it is they're right it's a decent deal let's buy it but now you see what we're getting. We're getting a cheap flimsy brush in here. We're getting the cheap $3.50 travel sized items in here. So I'm not discounting this product. I wanna be very clear that this is an amazing product. It is expensive. I love that we have it, but I do feel like Ipsy rode everything on this product to get people to buy it. So this will help to treat any damaged hair. We have a travel sized item here at 30 mil or one ounce. In this door, oh my gosh, 
What a waste of space, you guys. Dr. Barbara Sturmier, though. This one is the Hyaluronic Serum. We have a sample of three mil of product, and this is what it looks like. Next up for day 23, we have, oh my gosh, I just got this like last month. I'm not kidding you guys. If you look at my September BoxyCharm unboxing, this was just in it. So it's the Brow Gel Fix from V Cosmetics. And I was upset then because they counted this as a full size product. And now they're counting it as a full size product again in this calendar. So this is a clear brow gel that you can put on to mold and shape your brows. And it's just a very simple brow product. In my own head, I'm wondering if Ipsy's had so many cancellations that they have a lot of product left over. Because typically with businesses, they're gonna pre-order their inventory ahead of time, right? So that they have it available for demand. So they'll order in all of this product, have it ready to go months in advance. But if they don't have subscribers to send it all out to, they're gonna have a lot of product left over. And that's now what I'm starting to wonder is so many of these items are just from the last few months that I'm like, how's business going over there at Ipsy? Are they losing a lot of subscribers? Because this feels like there's a lot of leftover inventory. Day 24, you guys, we are counting up to the big one. Inside of this drawer, we do have a travel-sized item from Tatcha. This is the Indigo Cleansing Balm. Now, I am a diehard for Tatcha. I absolutely love their products, but I will tell you, you can buy this in the Ipsy shop as an add-on, and I wanna say I spent five or six dollars for this product. So it's a great item. It's a soft cleanser. It's very gentle, safe for sensitive skin as well. Okay, it's time to check out day 25. Now, I've not looked inside yet, you guys, so here goes nothing. I'm gonna pull the whole drawer out and we'll look at it together. This is what the drawer looks like. I swear to God, if there's stickers in here or tattoos, I'm gonna lose my mind. So inside of this one, oh, I think, doesn't that look like two palettes? Okay, that's better. So we have, yes, it looks like two products. I see Morphe on one side. Let me pull these out here. Thank God. I was like, if there's stickers in here, you guys, I'm going to go insane. So the first one that I have is from Morphe. It is their 9B Matte Essential Palette. And then the other one that I have is from Sephora, not Sephora, it's from Morphe as well. This is the 9W Smoke and Shadow Palette. So these are the two that I have here. Didn't Morphe go belly up? Are they still in business or making products even anymore? Or did somebody else buy Morphe out? I thought Morphe was no longer a thing. So now I'm wondering, are these expired products that they're getting rid of? Man, I have a lot of theories on this advent, you guys. You didn't know when you clicked on this video that I was going to be speculating like crazy today. So let's go ahead and look at the 9B palette. And this is what it will look like inside. So we have a mirror up at the top and then we've got nine shadows down below. I love this trio of greens over here. That is a really beautiful set. It's really soft, which I kind of like. And then the other palette that we have is called Smoke and Shadow. You're supposed to smoke these ones out and give yourself a smoky eye. I definitely see that with this palette, you guys. This is really pretty. So I do have a few thoughts of my own here on this calendar. So I will say it again, the presentation on this advent calendar is a huge step up over the last couple of years. So I do think presentation is great. I really like the changes. I like the layout of this. It's done very well. I like getting the LMS product in here. I like starting the calendar off with the Laura Mercier product. I thought that was fantastic. I like a couple of these other items even that we've seen. However, I really think Ipsy put all of the money on the LMS product, showed that to everyone as a spoiler and said, yeah, this is $179. You're going to get your money's worth. And I don't feel like the other supporting items in here match that $200 price point. Now, I did see some people say that, well, this calendar is only worth $50. Don't waste your money on it. I don't agree with that because, again, that LMS product is so expensive that I do think this calendar is worth more than $50. But I don't think 
this is the best calendar out there to get. And there's so much competition this year for advent calendars. I mean, I have an entire list that we've been unboxing and for $200, I think you can get much better deals and better products and larger sizes with some of these other advents. So for my recommendation, if you love this LMS product, you use it regularly, it would be a good deal for you to buy this calendar to get your product that you love because essentially you're getting everything else in this calendar for only 20 bucks. That would be a good deal. But if you are not in love with that one product, you can probably buy all of these other items at a fraction of the price compared to what's in this advent. So per usual, the only thing we need to decide is where this goes on our best to worst list. So comment down below, let me know what spot would you guys put this in on my list. I've got that playlist down below as well so you can always check it out, but where should we put this one at? So until next time, beautifuls, have a great rest of your day and I will see you all in my next unboxing video. Bye!